I really think that Perez probably put on the most impressive performance out of a guy who only scored 6 points and didn't have a single passing touchdown could have put on last week against Salt Lake. Well, of course, throughout the whole game, things looked pretty rough for him. I think a lot of that was just the lack of talent on that Birmingham side of the football, but I do really think that he had some really impressive plays. Like, take this one, for example. It's going to be a cover four zone, and those are the routes that the Birmingham receivers are going to be running. They're also going to fake a handoff to that top half of the screen, which is important. As you see, there are several routes running deep, meaning that those linebackers will probably then go deep. One thing you're going to want to take a look at is Salt Lake's edge rusher right there. He actually gets blocked by the tight end, but after he does that, he now realizes that he has a wide open gap towards that middle of the field. So he's going to end up running that way and he has a straight shot towards Perez. So now Perez has to look and has to try to find another receiver who could be open. But take a look at the direction he's looking. I mean, he's looking straight forward, trying to see if there is somebody open. However, he reads the defense, knows what scheme he's running, and knows that this could be a perfect time for a dump off. Just before he gets hit in the end zone, he is able to just barely dump it off to Richardson, which is now good news that Richardson has the ball. However, a Salt Lake defender does a very good job of reading this play and running in to try to tackle Richardson. However, despite that, Richardson is still in a pretty good position, as the Salt Lake defender has to be running full speed to try to get to him, and Richardson only has to make one slight move to get around him. From there, he's pretty easily able to pick up the first down and more. This next play I thought was an even better example of how Perez played so well. As you see, it's a cover 2 zone, and those are the routes that the Birmingham receivers are going to be running. And that one route in particular is going to be the one you want to take a look at, as that's where a receiver could end up getting open. I thought Perez did a very good job of two things on this play. The first of which was just the great throw, which of course was a great throw. But I also thought he did a very good job of scanning the field, realizing what defense it was, and realizing which receiver could end up getting open. This next play I thought was another interesting read by Perez. It's going to be a cover three zone, and those are the routes that the iron are going to be running. The one thing you're going to take a look at in particular is there's going to actually be three Birmingham iron players running in one particular zone. This is now going to force the linebacker who's in that zone further back and allow Trent Richardson to get into that shallow part of that zone and be wide open. Once again, Perez scans the field very well and is able to pass it to Richardson, who does a very good job of fighting after the catch and nearly getting a first down on this play. Let's take a look at their touchdown. This is the blocking concept that the Iron are going to be running, and one thing to look at is they're going to have their center and left guard double team an interior lineman, and then everyone else is going to have one-on-one -on -one matchups. So doing this, they're going to have Trent Richardson just run straight up the middle, basically, and they're going to hope that everyone can just make their blocks. However, one of the problems with this play is you now have a tight end trying to block a linebacker, which actually isn't going to go too well for the Iron. As you see, that linebacker does a very good job of crashing through, and now Richardson doesn't have a ton of space, or really any space, to try to get through. However, he's just going to simply power through anyways and hope that he can get to the end zone. That ends up being exactly what happens, and the Iron able to put their first offensive points on the board with just 4 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. It was definitely a rough offensive performance for a lot of the game for the Iron, but they showed up when it mattered most. I do think that Perez actually is a very good player. I would like to see what he could do with a better offensive line and better receivers, but of course this is the AAF, not everyone can have that, so I totally understand that. But I really do think that he had some NFL level plays, and I think that Birmingham should feel very confident with him as their quarterback. And for Trent Richardson as well, I mean listen, he's not going to be a big yards per carry back, I think we've established that at this point, but he can be a pretty big power back, and sometimes that's all you need in football.